Two widely used insecticides appear to be significantly harming honeybee colonies over the winter. That's according to a new Harvard study. It could be causing colony collapse disorder in which bees abandon their hives over the winter and eventually die. Since bees are prime pollinators of roughly one third of all crops worldwide, it's posing problems. And Harvard School of Public Health Associate Professor Alex Liu is the lead author on that study and he joins us now. Hi Alex. Uh, uh, these insecticides are also called, and I want to get this right, neonicotinoids, and they seem to be wreaking havoc on bee colonies. First of all, did I get the pronunciation right? <laughs> and second of all, what's going on here? Uh, it's called neonicotinoid. Okay, close. So it has been implicated to cause massive bee uh, deaths since early 2000s when Neonicotinoid has been commonly used in everywhere. It was until 2005, 2006, that in this country, we observed a mysterious disease at a time that we call honeybee colony collapse disorder. It has this landmark observation, which is very different to common disease that's associated with a honeybee hive. As you just mentioned earlier, that the land, one of the landmark observation is that all those adult honeybees basically abandon their hive during the winter. So in this study, we try to replicate what we have published two years ago in terms of exactly whether neonicotinoids are to be blamed for honeybee colony collapse disorder. Okay, and you mentioned the winter. Uh, when temperatures become cold and that combines with the use of these insecticides, does it make the CCD effect more severe? That's what we found out this time. In two years ago, uh, in Massachusetts area, we have a very cold winter, and that's why in our previous study, we lost 93% of the colony that we uh, tested in an in experiment. However, two summers ago, when we were replicating this study, we only lost 50%. And we found out the reason that CCD is associated with neonicotinoid because for those hives that we treated with very little bit of neonicotinoid, they just do not have enough bee uh, for the whole colony to overwinter. That leads to colony collapse disorder. So what is the economic implication for all of this? Well, there are two things. One, as you mentioned, that more than one third of the crop need to be pollinated by some insect. Honeybee happen to be the most important and efficient pollinators uh, because uh, they are perennial meaning they come back every year. The other major concern is that the, the amount of economy that has been collapsed is not sustainable in terms of to maintain a good size of a gene pool. In other words, that if we keep losing those bees at this scale, eventually the colony, the, the whole insect of so-called honeybee is likely to be uh, extended at our own watch. And those you cannot put any dollar's value on it. So Professor Yu, what's the solution? The solution is that you have to look at the science and come up with a sustainable solution at this to see whether we can recover those honeybee colonies by limiting or not using those neonicotinoids in which European Union are experimenting right now. All right, that was Professor Alex Lou via Boston. Thank you very much, Professor Lou. You're welcome.